today I thought I'd share with you what I get up to after college in an evening. So today when I'm filming this is a Tuesday and the first thing I do is I always unpack my bag and turn on my light even if it's like quite light outside just to you know get used to it and I quickly filled in my to-do list and like updated it and now I'm starting with something that's quite surprising. Um, it's GCSE standard form questions, but I was doing my admissions test prep and I was realising that I was getting a lot of them wrong just because of standard form. And I was going through and I found the issue. I didn't know how to add and subtract in standard form. So I'm glad that I figured that out and it's all sorted, which means I should hopefully get more marks. I'm just doing some BMAT section 2 questions as they're quite similar to the NSAA. So I just keep doing them and practicing the skills involved with timed things, if that makes sense. Um, my scores aren't great, but I'm hoping to get about 50% on the day and hopefully that's enough. <laughs> and yeah, it's three weeks today is the NSAA, which is very, very scary to think about. I'm not enjoying that. Yeah, I'm just saving stuff and doing some trig flashcards. I like to do these every day just so I learn, you know, sine, cos and tan values. I think it's important to have these in your mind ready to write down, especially in non-calculated papers like the NSAA. I decided to do another BMAT, which I planned to do earlier. The repetitive nature of the BMATs is really good and some questions even appear in the NSAA. So, I mean, that just shows how similar they are, really. I also got to put my newfound standard form skills to the test, and I actually got a question right, which involved adding and subtracting standard form. So, very happy with that, and it means I have gone to the root of the issue and sorted it fully. Today in college, I also found a section of the library which I'd never seen before, and I was very happy to do so. There were magazines that were A-level related, so there was a physics magazine with loads of articles that were all really interesting to read, and they have that from 2002 to 2022, isn't that amazing? It's like really dark now, and it's only 7pm, which does make me a bit miserable, but I'm feeling hungry. So I might just go get my tea early um, and just not really eat with my parents later. Um, also clothes are still comfy so I don't need to change yet. And yep. I've eaten my food now and it was really nice. I made pesto pasta and some salad and of course I had a treat to finish off a donut that my dad bought and I was on to note making so the way I do note making is I start with the oldest lesson that I hadn't made notes for which was last Monday and then I go in order by chronological day to try not leave stuff from like weeks ago like outstanding so mainly I just did maths <laughs> And yeah, that's pretty much all I did there was some maths core notes that I never got around to doing last week. One was about convex and concave and points of inflection, stationary points of inflection, non-stationary points of inflection. And I text my teacher to clarify a definition. And yeah, really cool. So just ticking off what I've done, which are all three of these, which I was like, whoop, whoop. And I went on to just add in some stuff I wanted to get done tomorrow. So, because I'm going to the library and I thought I need stuff to do. I've also got an optician's appointment tomorrow, which I'm not looking forward to because I have to spend loads of money just to get some better glasses. And I decided to not film me um, adding in my self-care and gratitude log because that's a bit private and my daily summary. I blew out my candles and that means I am done with studying for the day. So I quickly just packed two bags for tomorrow. So I'm going not to college but to the library. So I grabbed some stuff I need. So I grabbed some maths notes and some physics notes. In here is more of a bottle. Got my calculator, purse because I'm getting my eyes tested and I'm probably gonna have to pay for stuff. And I will pack my iPad in the morning when it is all charged because it's nearly dead.
all over the place. I decided to film it quite often. Not when my evening started, but it should be okay. It's a lot of study. I thought every evening is like this. This is just one <laughs> variation. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Hopefully see you next time.